<laughs> I even have to try to keep jackasses from going up above. Although, looks like this poor little fence got pummeled by a falling tree. This is inexplicably called Ice Fort Cove. There you see the beach house. And I believe <coughs> this is where we're getting close to the train tracks, which were here when Henry was making a big deal of all this. Oh yeah, see here's more of the barrier stuff they've had to come up with by way of idiot proofing. Nice little set of steps. I think these are new. It used to just be a sort of pummeled incline downward. Up, oh, been noticed by chickadees. Yep, there's the tracks. Sign. I think it was here when I used to come here in the 70s. It's providence would indicate as much. It tells us we're on the alt pond loop. This is the way of the bay circuit. This sort of hugs the water. Oh yeah, there's a blaze in a spot where you'd expect to see it. Let's reconnoiter. Here, we're going to be coming to the Esker Trail Air Long. And that gets us over to way to the south. Presumably, 
find an Esker trail. Yes, Henry had that sound too. Let's see. Yeah, this is the tightest point where it hugs the rail bed. Hi. And so we should be finding that good old Esker Trail before long. Another panorama, a glimpse of Walden just prior to the foliage color peak. Not quite there, but trying. Now, Henry probably didn't have Hanscom Air Force Base and airport to contend with either. <laughs> what would Henry think of this place now? I mean, <laughs> Hawthorne has noted what a grouch he was. Would this drive him completely crazy or would he morph into a yuppie working in the creative industry. Henry becomes a metrosexual, develops a fondness for sushi, and so forth. It's revolting to contemplate, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Here's another vandalized base circuit thing. I kind of think I've seen so much of this vandalism that I kind of think maybe they might have been better off going, to, going with paint. Pieces of, in fact, you got to wonder if some of these pieces of plastic are being removed by nature extremists who think that nailing pieces of plastic to a tree is a stupid way to mark a trail. Who knows? We're getting towards rush hour now. Ah, and there's the Esker Trail. And there's a place. Perseverance ever furthers when you're trying to follow the Bay Circuit Trail. Mournful whistle. There we are at the height of land, looking over it all. I kind of remember in the seventies. The slope was quasi-denuded by the stupid. So the fence has paid off. Much of it has grown back. It's been through a lot, this little petal hole pond. They could have just as easily have settled for Lake Denison. What if Henry really Grew up in Gardner instead. Mm -hmm. 
And for every known Henry, how many other Henrys were there that the world never found? <laughs>